so in this today class we are going to discuss about linear equation what is the linear equation this is like ax plus b is equal to zero if this is the case then we can say that this is the linear equation it doesn't mean a is always a, a some value maybe sometimes a will be a zero and maybe sometimes b will be a zero so if a is zero and b is zero it means what zero equal to zero so you must so in that case you, you cannot see the equation equation so it, one of the value must be something like a is something let's suppose a is something then x equal to zero is also a linear equation okay it doesn't mean you have always be a x plus b equal to zero is all is a linear equation sometimes x equal to zero is also a linear equation so there are lot of uh, question we are going to discuss about how to solve linear equation okay generally in linear equation we have a two variables the, as you can see we have a x plus 2y equal to 10 so x is a x and y is the two variable so when it, in one equation you have a two variable or unknown then you need a one more equation to find out the value okay so as many as number of unknown value you have you, you need a as many and as number of equation as well okay so in this case we have a two unknown value x and y so obviously we need to to find out the value of x and y we will need a one more equation and for that we have a second question a second equation 2x plus 3y equal to 2 so in the in the in the in the both case as you can see x is here here is also x here is y and here is y but let's suppose we have a we have a z here or then it's equal to 18 so in that case you can't say that you can't say that uh, you, you are going to find out the value because you have a two equation now and you have a three variable x is the variable y is the variable then z is also a variable so three variable it means you need a three equation i hope it's clear to you but in this case in original question i have taken only two variables x and y so i am going to solve it what is the general method to do the, to solve the question we we do what we make a coefficient value same like what is the coefficient of x is here 2 and what is the coefficient of x is here 1 so i am going to multiply this equation with 2 so the coefficient value of x in both the case will be same the other method is what you can make a coefficient value of y is also same so in that case this is 3 and this is 2 so if you have to make a common coefficient value then you will have to achieve 6 because 6 is in 2 and 6 is in 3 as well so what i am going to do in that case i will going to multiply it with 3 and multiply it with 2 so if you do the multiplication with this number you will get 3x plus 2y equal to 30 and this this is the equation 1 so this will become equation 3 and if you do the sorry 6 sorry. and if you do the multiplication with this one 4x plus 6 1 equal to 36 now we can solve it okay what we can do we will subtract it and we will get the answer so this is the method number 2 right why method number 2 but because in method number 1 i told you about do the equal coefficient of x so that was the first one and the first one is easy because if you write down the method 1 actually 2x plus 4y equal to 20 and this will become 2x plus 3y equal to 18 right here what i had done i had just multiplied this equation with 2 and you will get the but all these methods are what all these methods are regular methods and it will so take time to solve the question so what is the vedic method of multiplication for that i am going to discuss the so we have a number x plus 2y equal to 10 and here 2x plus 3y equal to 18 so what is the value of x so x equal to i have written down as you can see i clearly given you the arrow so you can find out y coefficient of y into the value of second equation so whatever the coefficient of this equation 
you just have to multiply it with the second equation right side value so 2 into 18 minus 3 this is the 3 and multiply with 10 inverse process so 3 into 10 and divided by 2 into 2 minus 1 into 3 so what is the 2 this 2 this 2 this 1 this 1 so I am going to write down 2 into 2 that is the coefficient of x and y minus coefficient of x and the order is important so you should keep in mind if you do the multiplication like this you will get the result 18 to the 36 minus 3 into 10 that is 30 so we have a 6 in the numerator in the numerator 4 minus 3 that is 1 so answer is 1 6 if you got the value of x what is the value of y simply put the x value in any of the equation so you will get the value then so put the value of x in any equation and get the value of y so here in equation 1 you put the value of x so, so put the value of x so x is equal to 6 plus 2y equal to that is this is actually equation from equation 1 so 6 plus 2y equal to 10 so 2y equal to 10 minus 6 so y equal to 1 or 1 Right. So, this is all about finding the linear equation. Let me take one more example here. Let's suppose you have a value 2x plus 3y equal to uh, 15. Okay. Now, this is the equation 1. Equation 2 is you have a 3x plus 2y equal to 20. Can you tell me the answer of x and y? So according to the previous concept which we have discussed, we are going to find out the x. So what is the x value? First we are going to multiply 2 into 15. What we have done? 2 into 15. So we are going to multiply 2 into 15 here. Minus 6. This is your answer. Okay. We can do it very easily uh, using the regular method. We are habitual of it. But if you are going to follow the basic math method, simply multiply 3 into 2. Okay. So 3 into 20 is 3 are 9 minus. What I have done here? 2 into 2. As you can see, this is the first part. 2 into 2 and 3 into 1. The same thing we are going to do is 10 minus 4. So if we do this, we will use 30 upon 5, 6 into 6. Okay. Hope you got the concept. If you got the x value is equal to 6, then what is the y? y equal to, we can find out very easily. From equation 1, 2 into 6 plus 3 into y equal to 15. So this we are going to subtract from there. So y equal to actually 15 minus 7. 3y equal to 3. This is the first part of the answer. Okay, moving further with the second example. In this example, we are going to discuss about when the x and y are the coefficient ratio. When the x and y, that is the coefficient of x and y, the ratio is same with constant y. As you can see, this question. This is 6, 7 and 8. Okay, this will be applicable when there is a condition here. When the x or y coefficient ratio is same with constant y. So, this is a 6x plus 7 There is nothing in this case. Uh, there is no any condition. The condition is in this part. 19x plus 14y. So, if you put, if you check the value here, 8 and 16, this is actually a multiple. Multiply with 2. 
8 multiply with 2 that is 16 and 7 multiply with 2 that is 14. So, in this case, we have a y coefficient which is equal to multiple, multi, if you multiply with 2, you will get this value and similarly if you multiply the RHS content, that right hand side content, still you will get the so multiplying constant is what? So here we can observe that the coefficient of y and constant part is in the right hand side is c. So value of x is what? Always 0. Okay. So what it says that? What it says that actually this is the rule. The rule. Here we can observe that the coefficient of y, coefficient of y and the constant part in RHS side is c. How it is same? Because 7 into 14 or 8 into 16, both are in the same coefficient ratio. So, if this is the case, then what we will say? We can say that x equal to 0. Similarly, similarly, if we have a case like <coughs> coefficient of x in the ratio. Let us suppose this is the case. 6x plus 7y equal to 8. And this is actually 18x plus 9y equal to 20. So in the both of this equation, equation 1 and equation 2, we will see that here x is equal to in the ratio of x into 3, right? And here 8 into 3. So both are the coefficient ratio of C. So in this case, y equal to 0, not x equal to 0. So if y equal to 0, then we can find out the value of x is it okay what is x 8 upon 6 or 4 upon 8. so this is the actual rule where if you find out the coefficient ratio 4 by 3 so this is the method where you can find out the value of any equation very easily because you know we have a coefficient ratio in the figure of right hand side so, these are the some of the questions which I am going to give you, so you can take a practice of it, okay.